Welcome back to Make Me a Fan. I am Jefferson Alonzo Green, AKA the Jag. And I'm Pete, the Encyclopedia Treras. Who specializes in one thing and one thing above all else. He takes phenomenal freaking photos. In fact, there's a certain hashtag you should search if you want to see amazing photos. Tell him what it is, Pete. Hashtag uh, Pete's Picks? You damn right, oh, hashtag, yeah, hashtag Pete's Picks. If anywhere you see great wrestling photos, just look in the bottom left corner. If you see the P and the T, it's probably this man kicking all kinds of butt and taking names. And you took a time. ton of pictures in the match today. Today's match. Woo. This is match number five? Yeah, this is match number five. This is a highly anticipated match because the internet, the internet was excited because oh, yes, you know, Chris were. Statlander wanted to hold up her message to Barr and say, I will wrestle. And AEW said, yeah, we understand. And Barr said, hey, if you guys are cool and we're cool, yep. everybody wins. And boy, oh boy, did we win with this match. Credit to everyone involved that Chris Statlander was going to honor her prior engagements, that AEW allowed her to honor her previous engagements, and that Chris Statlander wanted to be at Barr because Barr is freaking amazing. So tonight, or that night, we had Chris Statlander versus Giselle Shaw. I had never seen Chris Statlander wrestle in person. Of course, I saw her on Beyond. You've shown me a few different matches. And I had never seen Giselle Shaw wrestle in person before. And she came out wearing a Canadian. Is that Canadian? Oh, that's Canadian. Hell yeah. O she Canada. came out looking she, like... She has O Canada on her kick pads. Oh, yeah. She looked fantastic. I don't know. I mean, look. We want to talk about the action in the ring. But this woman is freaking beautiful. So if you like beautiful women, you're already up. 2-0 because you got two gorgeous ladies in the ring. I don't know about all that alien makeup, but Chris Tatlander is a, is a beautiful woman as well. Exactly. So. Take me to your leader. I mean, mm, maybe. phenomenal wrestler. Sure. Even in black and white. Even in black and white. We're, we're trying to make it fun. But uh, I love how the match started where she actually ended up getting into a test of strength with... Uh, with one Nick Badano. Oh yeah, what was that about? I guess well, it's just know, the alien thing. Yeah, you know, she uh, she was confused. She didn't know who her opponent was. Uh, she didn't think it was the lady, so she ended up doing test of strength. All right, yeah, and, I guess uh, she didn't see the striped shirt. I, it didn't work. Yeah. But nonetheless, <laughs> they, they booped fingers and they were good. And yep. So then they actually ended up doing their stare down. So that's uh, Giselle's typical pose, that kind of, okay. you know, that salute and then, you know, the, the greatest alien. But of course, they even boop. Yeah, well, hashtag boop. If you like the boop, you got one. All right, so this match was freaking phenomenal. I personally was excited to see what Statlander could do in the ring because I've seen her on tape and she's phenomenal. I didn't know what it was going to be like. And of course, she started off kicking all kinds of butt. Well, first, we had a boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she ended up doing the uh, the typical cartwheel. The cartwheel thing. spot, yep. Yeah, so these kind of, some of her isms that she kind of Signature does. Signature moves. Yeah, and get those out of the way so that you guys can yeah. start the match. And you know, that's kind of how I felt. It's like we got him out of the way and then the real stuff started to happen. So, look, Giselle Shaw, having never seen her before, this woman is prolific and gifted. She put on a hell of a match. I mean, her and Statlander went back and forth. Statlander is so freaking talented. This woman is amazing. So, I mean, there's so many pictures in hashtag Pete's Picks. He's phenomenal. There were a couple spots in this match, and I don't want to get ahead of us. So let's just oh, talk no, about it. No, no, no. You can. All right. There was a Spanish, was a Spanish fly? Mm -hmm. Spanish fly off the top. The Jag got a video of that one, too. Giselle, prolific and gifted. Giselle, she's a natural flyer, I feel oh, yeah. like. Yeah, as you say, and here's that spin -roo that she, I mean, off the top. And oh, yeah. Phenomenal, phenomenal move. For someone who used to work as a flight attendant, I think she's very comfortable in the air, all right? And then Chris Statlander, of course, is not to be trifled with. She's beaten the stuffing out of her a couple times. Those are some good chops and kicks, some different roll-ups and different... I mean, there's a lot of back and forth in this match, don't you think? Oh, 100%. Uh, yeah, and that Spanish fly was absolutely amazing. That was fantastic. Like, that's the spot that I remember the most is that Spanish fly. No, phenomenal match. And you have two uh, top female athletes. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, some of the best wrestlers on the planet come, wanting to come to bar and put on a great match. And I really feel like that's what happened here. And at the end of the match, you know what the crowd said? They all chanted, please come back because both girls women were fantastic Giselle Shaw I don't know who she where she's spending most of her time these days but yes please come back Statlander I don't know what your contract says but if you can please come back because it was a hell of a match I was thoroughly entertained I would go as far to call this a five-star match is oh, that no. too bold no not at all I think I think <clears throat> there was a lot of that there again the back and forth and just the the movesets were phenomenal and if you the, haven't the crowd was into it this oh, is a this is yeah. a must watch oh yeah this if you absolutely. haven't seen it you got to go to high spots and watch I mean just whatever watch the whole show but you definitely have to watch this match because it was amazing or at least when you're done go back and watch this match again oh very true and you know the cool thing what i thought was super cool and even though i'm not a big statlander fan in the audience or i'm sorry in the lobby you know where all the merch is she's literally signing things and taking pictures and selling merch and right behind her on the big screen is her championship match promotion you know her versus Riho the following Wednesday that was a hell of a moment I can't hate that was a hell of a moment to be there signing things and talking to people and right behind you on, on the screen on national TV you have the title match 
That Actually, was a hell of a moment. I think most people could only dream about a moment like that. Like, I just burned the house down with a fantastic five-star match. And now I'm selling merch and signing autographs and taking and pictures. And having great interactions. Yes. it worth it. And behind me, it's saying that next week on national television, I'll be wrestling for the freaking title. That's a moment that I think anybody could appreciate. For sure. I, especially, I think it's a good 2020 so far for her. Oh, yeah, for sure. We'll see how it turns out. But I think it's going to go pretty good because she is prolific and gifted Giselle Shaw. She is also extremely talented. I would give her the rated PG title as well. That was a hell of a match. And those were two very entertaining, very talented wrestlers in the ring. So I think tomorrow's match is the, is, is, is my guy mm -hmm. or your guy? Oh, it's our guy. Our guy, Mr. David freaking Arquette. Now, RJ City. And RJ City. Those guys, first of all, RJ City is talented as hell, both in the ring and on the microphone. That guy is hilarious, and he's a badass in the ring. David Arquette is also hilarious, and he's pretty badass in the ring as well. He earned my respect. So that's tomorrow's episode. What time, Pete? 9 a.m. Pacific. And if they want to talk about it in between now and then, what do they do? Well, they can use the like or dislike button, and mm -hmm. they could join in the conversation. You know, comment below. Maybe we're right. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe Giselle Shaw is a flash in the pan. Who knows? Ooh, Tell us what you guys think. You know, are we right? Are we wrong? Or, you know, is Statlander going to win the title? Mm, I don't know. However, hold on a second. If they don't want to talk about it right here, they can also find us other places. Where can they find yeah, us? Yeah, I think if we do social media, you know, like a Make Me a Fan 316. That's on, right! You're on absolutely Facebook, right. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You're damn right. So if you don't want to keep the conversation going right here, if you want to read our random thoughts and opinions, take your butt on over to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, but don't forget to go to High Spots and watch this freaking match. So that's going to do it for Make Me a Fan today. We will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. where we talk about RJ City and David Arquette versus, well, we're not going to tell you who they're wrestling yet. Yeah, you got to come back for it tomorrow. You got to see tomorrow. So see you tomorrow, guys. Take care.